Hello, beta testers. <laughs> so, this dude is angry people are modding girls to be prettier in a virtual game that they own. What business is it of theirs? Who knows? But these types sit around looking for things to be triggered by. This is the same person, by the way, who is mad about an optional alternate skin in the virtual game Street Fighter. Uh, Cammy was just too much for these ugly, demanding weirdos. This is the same person, by the way, who is mad about Megan Fox making the choice as an adult to flaunt what she's put hard work into and appear in commercials for Diablo. But Kyle, who cares, I hear you say. This person is clearly inflicting the Cruciatus curse on themselves. This entity, unfortunately, is indicative of the types in the gaming industry that are deliberately doing what some people did to comics and some people did to movies. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up for what I believe in. In the beginning of the movie, Jennifer's Body, Jennifer, is taken advantage of, and the real-life actress Megan Fox, who depicts her, has articulated past experiences that might have left some women broken, damaged, a quivering mess, doomed to a life figuratively in the fetal position, but not Megan. In the face of the filthy kind of men that would only ever see her for her age, body parts, and how fast they can get off with her, Megan Fox decided to do just as much acting off-screen as on, and at least pretending to tolerate the asswipe she's forced to rub shoulders with on a daily basis, just like us. It takes strength, it takes effort, and it takes patience. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker! Megan Fox could be in a cocoon of woke for all I know or care. She's not so anti-fun that she's deliberately reducing her appeal by fully covering herself up to what, deny or spite all men? Because anybody with a shred of social sense can tell you that you're robbing the women who love a good look, too. Some women understand that patience is a virtue, and if you do as the woke have done, you will be rejected. You never go full Rachel Zegler. These women are easy on the eyes, driven, strong, femme fatales. I want to see these people. They're having and have had a cultural impact that people appreciate. They will be missed when they're gone. They are establishing real change. Did I mention they're easy on the eyes? Which is the exact opposite of what this entity, Stacey Henley, does using the gamer website as a platform for artificial outrage. Sites like Kotaku, Polygon, The Gamer, Reset Era, and to a lesser extent even IGN are all dominated by identity-obsessed transgender hypocrites who seize every opportunity to pull their pants down and arch their back for the double standards so Kyle, girthy, and with that simple screenshots of their stupid-ass article names and contradictory tweets next to one another effortlessly highlight their hypocrisy. Please, like and comment below if you believe people like this should be blacklisted from the gaming industry for their documented unethical behavior, just as Nintendo has blacklisted Kotaku. A transgender reviewer rated Hogwarts Legacy a 1 out of 10 because of their feelings on JK Rowling in between their butt toy reviews that they normally publish. It may sound funny, but the walls of my industry have become coated with these jackasses. And naturally, to people telling me just to get over it and it is what it is. Mmm, these radical, rowling-hating trans reeled in excitement, hoping their boycott of a video game would result in anything other than Hogwarts Legacy becoming a record-breaking release. To this day, even bringing up the boycott will instantly get discussions locked, comments hidden, and even people banned because you're rubbing it in. <laughs> Unless you have the approved opinion, they'll try to silence you. And they are forced to because they know they cannot effectively address your point. So they'll reduce your point. Maybe they'll even put words in your mouth, attack your credibility, attempt to mock you. But my favorite lately is just a carpet bombing of censorship. The comment locking and like hiding, it, it, this is instantly going to have a Streisand effect and agitate some people further. Twitter allows the hiding. Reddit allows the hiding. Google makes sure you see exactly what Google wants you to see. And YouTube, 
It does all of the above, baby. Look how triggered the word female makes pronoun warrior Redditors with the approved opinions. Someone was banned for using the term female. Trans person that triggered over the scientific word. They're angry at Baldy McAs for having an issue with pronouns when it's obviously the straw that broke the camel's back and he's obviously embellishing and playing up his personality for the sake of his own stream but you are going to try to reduce it to just the pronouns it'd be like reducing it to just ghostbusters the lady version when a lot more has happened since then that is probably the reason why disney's last 10 movies have been disasters. Some of the surviving comments in this graveyard read, this is why I hate Reddit, you can be banned for almost no reason. As a woman, I prefer being called a woman, not female, but mods are 100% overreacting. If a cop caught him breaking the law, newsflash, the jail they'd be going to would be based on the M or the F that they determine when examining them. But the flex of power to remove and ban and hide. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. This was Reddit on September 4th, 2023 on a subreddit called There Was an Attempt. There really was an attempt, huh? Beta tester. If you buy a game on Steam and they retroactively change it to reduce or even remove something that was probably the reason you bought it in the first place, Steam will hide your comments to make sure that Skullgirls doesn't look too bad. Dustborn's a game that I covered recently that ticks so many woke boxes that many of us are in true shock that it's not parody, that it's not satire. Well. I hope you didn't expect to see the dislikes because those are hidden and people accept that. But I hope you didn't expect to see the comment section neither because that's been disabled as well. Good thing I caught it while I knew to catch it because they're always taking the shit away from you. Why do you think I've become some sort of habitual screenshot bastard? But what's this? The comment section's only locked on Xbox, not for PlayStation or anywhere else. Damn, it really is woke box, huh? Woke, ESG, female, Bud Light, Target, Disney, MCU, attractive women, Hogwarts Legacy. There's so many words that are powerful. That's what the trailer for that shit game said. It said words are power. They got power. You know what I mean? So many of these things trigger in an instant. In a way where they gotta mute, they gotta hide, they gotta flinch, they got a problem. What's the big deal? It's just pronouns. That The pronouns are just the tip of the iceberg. But we'll allow you to pretend that we do, you don't know what we're talking about. This hasn't happened across industries. I'll tell you what, man. You should be kissing ass right now if you know what I'm saying. You should be kissing some ass right now because... Some people are never going to want to see you again, and they would they would not be wrong. You have destroyed what they used to de-stress willingly, deliberately, and you knew what you were doing. So when evil like that gets to exist and they get to be the approved opinion and message approved for right now. And the truth is, the kids hate this shit just as much. I can tell you, talent and woke rarely mix, and much of what is has hemorrhaged the creatives. Woke isn't the kiss of death. Woke induced laziness that prioritizes indoctrination and messaging at the cost of entertainment. That's the kiss of death. If people finish it and feel the woke injections would have been better spent on uh, better writing, better execution. They're right. They're right to avoid this shit. Western media, we dare you to keep ignoring the data. 
because the East doesn't do that. Neither do the bots or the Chinese algorithms that have a stranglehold on the nation's youth. The truth is the pronouns help us mark y'all. They're a red flag for the lazy race swap and gender swap bullshit that bozos are hoping to trick you into watching because they, they would never be able to impress you with their writing or to make you a fan of what they can't even create in the way of original shit. They gotta, they gotta grab something that has a pre-existing fan base and ruin that so fake outrage when it comes to things they don't like fake controversy as forced as larry fink's black rock esg but that's a hindenburg now oh the humanity but these people that i'm spotlighting in the games journalism space they are racist they're sexist they're hypocrites they claim others are and Prove time and time again that they need to resort to censoring everything that they dislike while hilariously claiming inclusion. These people cheer for bare sex and love women only if they stay flat and ugly, maybe vitiligo, maybe a wheelchair. But ask yourself, if they were pretty like the Japanese games, would they even need modding? Tifa's mods aren't, you know, typically face altering. They're, they're just clothes. I'm not going to go here, man. In the West, we have insane brands like Dove Soap desperately pushing this fat acceptance and body positivity. Woe is me. This is the real beauty bullshit. And of course, we're forced to educate people on the fact that Dove is under Unilever, who has fatty foods to serve right up to these women after high-fiving them for the brave choice to live as Jabba the Hutt. When they dislike anything, they jump to boycott. But if we don't like it, we a baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Goo goo gaga, nigga. Uh, Disney. <laughs> this, this pretending players are mad for fake outrage that you're forced to admit is non-existent is the definition of fake unethical journalism, especially when you deliberately omit the truth. No one cared about Final Fantasy's diversity. No one cared you hate Hogwarts Legacy. The erasing of feminine females is why manga dominates comics. It's why Genshin makes billions while your studios go under. So white boys can be mad all they want about Stellar Blade not being forespoken enough. So a by Project Eve's protagonist. Because, like, the, with the camera angles chosen, it just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in, like, 002 in terms of its, you know, like, character design. Okay, pretty women are dated, according to this it's guy. Like a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. Wow, for a modern audience. It's in comparison to something like Forspoken, which has, you know, uh, I mean, yes, it has a much more realistic looking character designs. Uh, it's not these hyper proportioned. Uh, something or another's but white boy saw a nice ass and said hyper proportioned something or another but in the end eve will sell stellar blade do you know how i know because it's made by the same people who make goddess of victory you can't convince them it doesn't work their bank account says otherwise elden ring baldur's gate hogwarts legacy fortnite genshin from software larian avalanche epic hoyoverse Insomniac. They scaring me by making a literal bombshell like Mary Jane, fat faced and ugly. The fuck are y'all doing? But the gameplay is going to keep us coming back. You'll retain the attention, the funding, and the adoration from fans as long as you keep delivering what people want without nickel and diming them. The industry hates that because they're lazy. They oppose effort, and they boast about it all the time. Look at Destiny. People reject sanitized saints' roification. Either make Snow White, or don't call it Snow White. People reject ugly. If you want to be Bud Light forcing ugly women, be our Guest, we'll find alternatives. Gamers are rejecting live services. You remember that Sushi Squad game that got delayed? Boo, it took a few years, but even the kids are slowly coming to understand what a minimum viable product is. A lack of polish looks like a lazy team that's only down for the bare minimum. Ugly characters, but y'all want microtransaction money on top of battle pass money. 
on top of the the, the base game price because it's not a free to play game. Okay. Ah, it's not happening. What are you stupid? Ugly characters are not a standard. Okay. And there is a bar with modern gaming that I know the Western devs are trying really hard to like scooch in front of. No, nope, there's nothing back here. Rocksteady banned me because of my naughty, unapproved words. But it won't hide people's resentment. It won't diminish the justified sentiment from people who once again are taking the time to offer consultation free. Like what we did for y'all with Saints Row. It, it used to be I had to convince people that this was deliberate. The uglification, the them trying to drag the bar down. They'll routinely show you them hanging off this thing these days. And they're just handing it to Japan. How embarrassing. Starfield's gunplay is worse than Destiny 1's. Because of this filthy creation engine and you Xbox losers are capping for that garbage. Destiny's like a decade old, man. And there are other games that probably have better gunplay. And I know it seems like, oh, black guy's worried about the gunplay, man. Look, it's on American. Some of these games play like a tech demo. It ain't just the loading screens, homie. Y'all are unaware of where the bar is. So when this Unreal Engine 5 shit comes out and you pretend that your balls aren't blown clean off, we'll see what a hypocrite you are. And y'all should hold them to task. Listener, you should hold them to task for that bullshit. It's enough of the contradiction. Tech demos like Immortals of Aviom charging entirely too much. While Wukong, Project Mugen, Crimson Desert, Stellar Blade, First Descendant, Fortnite. Developing so fast it's hard to keep up. It's hard to get footage before things are changed. When they drop that first person, if they decide to care. If not, the, the fans, the creative people can care and eventually that'll be its own thing. But uh, this crowd-pleasing thing doesn't seem to be American anymore. Which is kind of sad. They... We don't have to, you know, position a Netflix next to their blockbuster. They, they're, they're crumbling on their own. They call you names, everything in the book. But they need to silence you. That's what I want you to see. In the end, they are powerless to stop what's happening. It's a standalone complex. We did not coordinate this. We all just... We're sick of it. So, make fun of Baldy all y'all want, man. I see this woke shit. I'm not buying it. <laughs> In time, it'll be free, and we can laugh at it then. Just like Saints Row, if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber. My educated consultation is that as of Heels vs. Babyface, even in his Super Saiyan Cartman form, is indicative of a significant portion of the audience's necessary, demographic-wise, to turn a profit on your potential project. Mark yourself as woke if you're stupid. Beta testers, I love you. And gaming is getting its balls back.